Halifax, Alice talks football and the latest Manchester United news today is revolving Salma Gez to Manchester United and Paul Pogba staying at Manchester United. Meaning Manchester United next season could have a midfield trio of Bruno Fernandes, Salma Gez and Paul Pogba. So in this video I'm going to be talking about what the reports are saying, how reliable the, port the reports are, how likely it is to happen, what would this mean for Jack Grealish, what would this mean for Manchester United's midfield plans and more all in this video. So I'm going to start with the Salma Gez story. So Salma Gez has been linked to Manchester United a lot over the last few years. I did a video two weeks ago just briefly talking about the links but it was the Daily Star linking them and the Daily Star speak to load of crap so I didn't go too much into detail over it. Now Salma Gez, 25, Atletico Madrid midfielder, one of the best midfielders in the world and he's still young. He'll be 25 at the beginning of next season. He'd be the perfect Paul Pogba replacement. He's a bit more defensive than Paul Pogba, but he'd be the perfect Paul Pogba replacement. However, the report's saying Sal coming, Pogba staying. Would that mean Pogba and Sal in the same team? I know, crazy. So let's talk about what the reports are saying. So with the current pandemic going on, some clubs are going to lose money if the season isn't finished. Well, a lot of clubs are going to lose money and stuff. And Atletico Madrid are one of those clubs that are going to lose a bit of money and may be forced to sell if the season is not finished. Not to mention that the Spanish Football Federation proposed this idea that the current top four will be in the Champions League places next year. Atletico Madrid are not in the current top four. The current top four in La Liga is Sevilla, Barcelona, Real Madrid and I think it's Real Sociedad. Meaning that Atletico Madrid will not be in the Champions League next season if this plan goes ahead. So obviously Atletico Madrid don't want this plan to go ahead. But if that happened, Atletico Madrid would lose a lot of money. They're a club that needs to be in the Champions League to kind of survive or keep going at the top level. Meaning they'd have to sell players like Sauna Gares for a cut price. The, the Express was talking about how Atletico Madrid would have to sell Sal for a cut price of £75 million, which is half his release clause. And that teams like Manchester United that want Sal and are interested in Sal could jump on this. And we know that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer come out and said in an interview with Sky that Manchester United is still going to spend this transfer window. We will not be affected financially by the pandemic going on. And actually, Manchester United are going to take advantage of this. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer talked about exploiting clubs that need to sell and getting players for cheaper. Well, Atletico Madrid might have to sell for cheaper. Oli wants to exploit clubs that have to sell for cheaper. Sal is the player that Manchester United would love. I would love Sal Niguez at Manchester United. For me, if I had to choose between Sal coming to Manchester United and Grealish, I'd go for Sal. I mean, I don't think we'd go for Sal at all unless Pogba went. However, with reports that Pogba is staying and that if we can get Sal for 70 million, like, Oli would be stupid not to look into it. If we can get Sal for 70 million pounds when we're trying to get Grealish for 60 million pounds, we might as well pay 10 million more for Sal. Now, I like Grealish, but Grealish or Sal, I'd personally go for Sal. Let me know who you'd go for in the comment section down below, Grealish or Sal. And while Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's talked about exploiting clubs in his interview, this would be a perfect opportunity to exploit Atletico, especially if they don't get Champions League. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer would be stupid not to look into it. And I do believe that if Atletico lose a lot of money, if they don't get in the Champions League next season, because obviously they could still qualify by winning it if the Champions League goes ahead, that like Manchester United will definitely look into it. Because I know we'd want Sal. He, like, who wouldn't want Sal? He, he would fit with us. You know, we need another midfielder. I know we'd look at it. It does seem a bit too good to be true. The report saying Sal coming, Pogba staying, so you do have to take up a pinch of salt. But I know we are interested in Sal. I always thought maybe if Pogba left, we'd properly pursue an interest in Sal. Kind of like Milinkovic Savage. I mean, there's not super, super strong links of us to Sal. There's just been a few little weak links. And then connecting the dots that Atletico might have to Sal and we're willing to exploit clubs. So, you know, it, it's not super likely to happen, but I think we'll definitely look into it. And there is a chance that it would happen. And I'd love to see Sal, Pogba and Bruno in a Manchester United midfield next season. Now, before I get into the next story about Paul Pogba staying at Manchester United, it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button and then subscribe down below to Alice Talks Football if you have not already, so you don't miss daily Manchester United content and updates from me. So now the recent reports is that Paul Pogba is going to stay at Manchester United. So obviously, we know Paul Pogba wants to leave, but then there was some sort that Paul Pogba wanted to stay. So it's really just been me no stirring that Paul Pogba wants to leave. I think if he got the chance, maybe Paul Pogba would rather be at Real Madrid, I'm pretty sure of that. However, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer came out in his last press conference, which was against last, you know, when we beat them 5-0, and he said that Paul Pogba will be at Manchester United next season. He seemed very confident that Paul Pogba would be a Manchester United player next season, that he would stay at Manchester United. And I know the Glazers, I talked about this in my video yesterday, which was like five things to expect at Manchester United next season, where I talked about I think Paul Pogba will stay at Manchester United next season because because I don't think the Glazers would let him go for less than £100 million. And with the money and player values going down this window, it would be very hard to get £100 million for Paul Pogba unless Real Madrid were desperate for him. And actually, I do think Real Madrid will go for Mbappe before Pogba. And there's talks that Manchester United want to extend 
Paul Pogba's contract to Manchester United for another year. And even though I think Paul Pogba would rather be, rather be at Real Madrid, there is talk of him actually wanting to stay and form a partnership with Bruno Fernandes. And obviously the coaching staff at Manchester United view Pogba very highly. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer seems confident Pogba will stay. Well, this well-known journalist, now I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Gillian Balgay, he's well-known, I wouldn't say he was tier one, maybe tier two. Um, journalist, he's come out and said how Manchester United coaching staff see Pogba as a leader. They want Pogba to stay at Manchester United and become like a leader there. They talk very highly of Pogba. Pogba's playing his cards. There's talk of Pogba wanting to stay. There's talk of Pogba wanting to leave. Apparently Pogba hasn't actually made his mind up yet and that he will not see Pogba going to Real Madrid next season and he wouldn't be surprised if Pogba stayed at Manchester United next season and he can see Pogba being a Manchester United player next season and actually extending his contract. Um, which is, I guess it's quite big because it's come from a well-known journalist. You know, um, I think Pogba will probably be a Manchester United player next season. I don't think that means he's going to extend his contract with us. I know we can extend his contract a year, but I don't think he'll maybe sign a new contract with us. But I do think Pogba will be a Manchester United player next season. I don't know if he wants to be. He does talk about Pogba not making his mind up yet. Maybe if he stays with us next season and we have a good season, he'll want to be with us. But I feel like Real Madrid is probably Pogba's first choice destination. Obviously, with the Sao Niguez coming to Manchester United and Paul Pogba staying with you have to take it with a pinch of salt. Because to have Sao Niguez and Paul Pogba in your midfield, it, it just seems very unlikely. I feel like if Pogba left, we'd get Sao or Pogba stays and we don't get Sal. I can't really see us getting both. But if we did, we'd have a midfield trio of Bruno Fernandes, Sal Niguez and Paul Pogba, which would be insane, I've got to admit. What would that mean for Jack Grealish, though? If we went for Sal, would we really get for Grealish? There'd be no need for Grealish if we had Sal, Pogba and Bruno. That's the thing. I mean, I'd personally rather have Sal over Grealish, although I'd be happy with either of them. What does that mean for Sancho? Well, Sancho, Sal, if we got Sancho and Sal in the window and Pogba stayed, I'd be very happy with that window. Especially, even though it's two players, just because of the two qualities of the player and how uncertain the window is. We could have a midfield of, like, Pogba and Bruno as eight, Sal as a CDM, or Sal and Pogba behind Bruno. I think it would be a sick midfield. Not to mention that you've got McTominay and Fred on the bench as well. And we'd actually go from, like, the beginning of the season looking like we had the worst, one of the worst midfields in the league to having, like, the best midfield in the world. It would be insane. We have to take it with a pinch of salt because it is a bit too good to be true. But that is just the current Manchester United transfer news. Regarding Paul Pogba staying and Sal Niguez, if you want my honest opinion, I do think Paul Pogba will be a Manchester United player in September. I'm not so sure about Sal Niguez. If the reports heat up even more, I will talk about it. But I think Manchester United will for sure look at the situation. We know Oli wants to exploit clubs. And if there's an opportunity for Sal Niguez, I think Manchester United would be stupid to ignore it. It would just be silly for Manchester United not to go for it. Thank you for watching Alice Talks Football. I hope you enjoyed that video on the Manchester United transfer update. If you have not already, please hit that like button and subscribe down below to Alice Talks Football so you don't miss daily football content from me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. See you next time. Thanks for watching.